Hello guys, this is Sajid. Welcome again to channel Artisans Web. So in this video, we are going to see how to save your contact form submissions on your WordPress database. Uh, normally what happened that uh, whenever user submit a contact form, the admin will get the email regarding that enquiry. And if you have running a site with the high tar, lot of traffic, so it will be not easy to manage all these emails, to read all emails one by one and get the important users data. Uh, another thing is that uh, if your mail server is not working properly, then when users submit the form, but due to your mail server problem, you will, you can miss the important message from your user. So to avoid such problems, uh, there is one solution that save your contact form submissions in your WordPress database. So on my screen, you can see the plugin called Flamingo. This is the plugin developed by the same author which has developed contact form 7 plugin. Now you just need to install and activate this plugin on your site. So this is my local site. I show you how it works. Once you activated the plugin, you get the menu like here, Flamingo. And I have created, you click on inbound messages. So let's see, I'm filling one contact form here. So I fill it. Now I click on send. Uh, as I am say submitting this form through local server, so obviously uh, my mail will not send to the admin user, and I get some kind of error. Yeah, there was some error, but the good part is my plugin still saves that inquiry here. Okay. Now uh, if I click on, I get the details of that user, we just fill up my contact form and these are some additional information and this is the information which we have placed on our contact form and we can even download all these messages as well. Here I click on export, so all these messages we can download as a csv file here let's download it so it is very easy uh, compared to email to view your all messages or to read the users data so here our csv file generated and one more thing that this plugin handle if you have multiple contact form on your site as well you just need to select the related contact form and click on filter so related messages for that contact form will filter here so it's all about today's tutorial so i hope i hope you got to know about this feature of contact form 7 so thanks for watching video stay tuned for our next video have a nice day bye bye